name is Pedro de las Reyes. I'm formerly from Saipan, but I, I got married here in Guam, so that's it. I'm from Guam now. <laughs> I'm on the uh, riverside in Guam, Santa Rita. This is my ranch. You can see a lot of trees. A lot of trees that you can eat a boo. You know, enjoy it. Mango, especially mango, bitternut, I love it. Coconut tree, it's a lot. Orange. I got two trees, Chamorro orange. And uh, La Longa in Chamorro. That kind of lemon is, you know, wild. And we got papaya, banana. Oh, there's trees that's not, not supposed to damage the houses. Some there, but in the jungle down here, all the trees that can damage the house, whatever, is down in the river. When I got married in 1980, so maybe 81, I start planting all this. Uh... Oh, oh my goodness, this is a junkyard, like, you know, broken, everything, meadows, I clean it, so I start planting, meadows, and broken bottles, whatever you find, I threw it down, I mean, I clean it, I threw it in the dump. But was it like clear like this, or was it like a lot of trees? No, it, it was a lot of like jungle tree, tang and tang and all those things, but I cut it down and plant the mango. Better not. You can see it. It's over here, mangoes and better not. What, what's good about planting here versus like planting in the north? Oh, the north is something. It's not like the uh, the fruits are growing out right, but over and south, it's good. You can see all green. You don't see nothing yellow. The the green. dirt here is are very rich. Whatever you plant, you grow. So you said there's a river back there? Yeah, there's a river. You want shrimp, just run down the river. You want eel, you want tilapia, just down on the river. Oh, uh, the water comes from Nevumac, goes down to Aga. Are there uh, many animals here? Chicken, a lot of jungle chicken. A lot of deer, a lot of pigs. Sometimes they just stay here right on, under the trees, mango tree or bitternut tree, even the deer. Sometimes come up to my yard. And I see it. A deer comes out and gets all, get all these grasses here. They call netti. So the pig is the coconut, the bright mangoes, or taro. I have some taros here, but it's not much. But we cannot eat it because the pig first. We come and finish it. The pigs ate all the taros. Taros and you know yam, avocado. They'll eat those things. Whatever fruits they'll eat it. At night, the chickens. Where do they go? Oh, the chicken, where did they go? Just the little human being there, and go up on the tree and sleep on the tree. That's their house. That's they their home. Away from, uh... Get them, uh, prevent the, uh, whatever animals can kill them. That's why they sleep on the tree. What do you do with the fruits that you have? Well, the fruits, every time I see soon, I call my nephew, call my pig, friends, whatever. Whatever comes, I just give it to them, free. Come and pick a mango, caramel mango, Philippine caramel mango, eating, whatever. When it comes and asks, I just give it to them free. I don't sell. That's what it is, supposed to be. Give it to your neighbor, give it to your friend, and try it. Don't get stingy. The more you get stingy for your trees, fruits, I'm sorry. Your fruit's not gonna bear fruit because you're stingy. But if you open your hand, give it to them. Everything will be okay.
Thank you, and have a nice day. Enjoy the video.